thanks a lot to uh, all the uh, preceptors and, and teachers that have showed up to uh, to support all of us today. Uh, thanks a lot. This is you know this is not a a, a short ceremony, so I appreciate you taking the time. Um, I remember when uh, Andre first asked me to um, take on uh, um, a student I don't know, two years ago or so, and I maybe longer. And I was initially really uh, questioning his judgment. I was like not at all prepared for this. I thought, what is wrong with this guy? He can't possibly think I'm ready for this. And yeah, yeah, I know, you know, Sung San said that um, every, every Zen student is a Zen teacher, that even if you just showed up to the center for the second time, you can show the folks who showed up the first time where to sit. You know, we teach to whatever our, our capacities are, but still taking on students. Um, then I surprised myself, you know, I thought I had some good days where I actually had something to offer when I was meeting with uh, one student or another, though uh, Dion Chida is perhaps the best, uh, the best uh, only judge of us here uh, present today. Um, and around that time, I, I realized the impact of uh, popular culture on me and mythology um, in, my, in my childhood. I'd seen the original Star Wars movie when I was two years old. Uh, my aunt took me to the drive-in. And the thing, even as a little kid that I liked the best was the relationship between Luke and Ben, you know, Luke the student and Ben the, the wise old teacher. And I kept seeing this thing throughout my childhood. You know, it's Dorothy and Glenda the Good Witch. Um, there's the, uh, the Kung Fu TV show with uh, Kane and his teacher. Um, oh, oh, Arthur and Merlin. That was perhaps my, uh, my favorite. And there you see these teachers fully formed. Uh, not, you know, you don't see them struggling to become teachers. They're just these idealized, perfected figures late in their, uh, in their lives. Um, and, you know, don't see the stumbling around as a teacher that I experienced. You know, but you got to learn, uh, you got to learn somehow. And I, I'm a teacher by profession as well. And the same thing, I, I just got thrown into it. You feel terrible for my early students because they have to bear the burdens of us learning how to become uh, teachers, so that there can simply be a next generation of them, whether you know academic teachers or Zen teachers or um, parents, uh, whoever. And but part of this process, then also realizing just how not ideal and how not how that our teachers are our own teachers were not and and are not perfect, and that's just uh, perfectly fine. And in my struggle with all this, and you know initial. Uh, you know, frustrations and um, you know, concerns about first taking on a, a student. One of the things I came to realize in this is that, you know, at some point we all got to stop being Luke and start being Obi-Wan because um, uh, that's where you start helping people. And that's the whole point of being Luke or Arthur or Dorothy or Kane in the first place. So I uh, thank all of you teachers and thank all of us uh, students.